Now, a couple of months back, I shared a video on this channel on how to add clickable links to your YouTube videos. Ever since then, I've been getting comments on that video on how to add clickable links on your YouTube videos using a smartphone. Now, unfortunately, YouTube doesn't give us that option in their YouTube Studio app for phones. But in this video, I'm going to show you a workaround way to add links to your YouTube videos using just your mobile phone. Hi, I'm Winston the Solopreneur Warrior and if you have been looking for ways to add clickable links to your YouTube videos, then you have to keep watching this video. But before we get into all that, if this is your first time to this channel and you're interested in making money with the videos you upload on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So, as you probably already know, YouTube has a mobile app for creators to use to check the back end of their YouTube channels while on the move. Now, although you can use the YouTube mobile app to check and reply to comments on your channel or maybe check your channel analytics, the app has no feature that will help you add cards to your YouTube videos. The only way to do that on your mobile phone is by using the desktop mode on your phones. So, how do you go about using the desktop mode to add clickable links to your YouTube videos? First, you want to start by opening YouTube on your phone browser. I'm going to be using the Chrome browser on my phone. I haven't tested this on other browsers yet, but I think it's going to work on just about any web browser. Now, I know that sometimes when trying to open up YouTube on your mobile web browser, depending on the type of phone you're using, it might redirect you to the YouTube Studio app. But when that happens, tap on these three dots and select desktop site as the case is with my phone or desktop mode as the case might be with yours. Now, after opening up YouTube on any web browser on your phone, navigate to your channel just like you would normally do on a desktop device. The only difference using a desktop device and this walk-around way on your phone is that you need to occasionally zoom in and out of your screen to be able to see all the features clearly. So first, I'll zoom to my channel profile and tap on it. Then, select YouTube Studio from the drop-down options. When you get to your channel studio, you want to tap on this video icon here and all your channel videos will be displayed. Next is tapping on any of the videos you would like to use to add a clickable link on. And when you do that, you will see this pencil like or edit icon appear. Tap on it. That will now take you to this editing page. Now here is where you can easily edit your video title, description and even change your video thumbnail. But what you should be looking for is the video cards feature. That's the only way YouTube allows video creators to link from within any videos uploaded on their platform. Now if you just slide the screen a little to the right, you'll see this extra set of options. Below here, you'll find the end screen and the cards option, and that's what you should be looking for. Now, adding end screens to your video is actually straightforward. Simply tap on the end screen option and select any of the pre-made end screen templates YouTube is offering. For my videos, I have a custom template which I created, and I add this on all my videos using a video editing tool before uploading it on YouTube. But like I said, any of these templates here will serve the purpose as well. So after selecting a template, tap on the save button at the top here to save your settings. If you want to add cards, which is another way of linking within your YouTube videos, you can tap on the cards option here. And when the cards editing page opens, you want to tap on the add cards button. Now, with the cards feature, YouTube gives you four different options to add clickable links within your YouTube videos. You can use this first option here to link to any video or playlist. Now, when you tap on this create button here, this pop-up will open with your channel videos. So, for example, to add a playlist link, simply tap on the playlist option here and select any of the playlists you want to link. Personally, I would recommend linking to a playlist as the best way of linking from within your YouTube videos if you want to get more views to your other videos. 
You can also just choose to add a link to a specific video. It might not necessarily be your channel video. So I can just go to YouTube and copy any video link or playlist and paste it here and it will be added to the cards of this video. One advantage of adding playlists as cards in your video is that you will be using just one link to pull people to a set of videos which if it's a series of videos on a related topic, many people will be inclined to watch the other videos in the series, hence more views to your other channel videos. The next type of cards feature can be used to promote other channels. So if you have another channel that you would like to promote, here is where you add the channel link. The pulls card feature is another way of linking within your YouTube videos, but YouTube just recently sent out a notification saying the pulls feature will soon be taken down. Now the last cards option here is used to add links from external websites. That means you can link to your website from within any of your YouTube videos using this feature. But before you start using the external linking cards feature, your site must be associated with your YouTube channel and you must be part of the YouTube Partners program which requires you to have a thousand subscribers and 4000 watch hours. If you have a merchant website for example, you can link from the shop front page as well as directly to individual products on the website. You can also use this feature to link to any of these recommended crowdfunding sites. Now when you add any card link within your videos, you also have the option to adjust where you want the link pop-up to appear on your video screen when viewers are watching. To do that, just go to the video timeline here below and you'll see this card feature. Tap on it and drag it to wherever you want it to pop up. Now, most often, whatever you're doing in the cards feature here, it's been automatically saved. And you can always come back at any time to edit your created ads by tapping on this pencil or edit icon next to the created cards. And that's all about it. Now you know how to add clickable links to your YouTube videos using your phone. Now, before I wrap up this video, I would like you to understand that no matter how you optimize your YouTube videos, getting people to watch your videos is the hardest part, which is why I have created my 20 plus easy ways to quickly get free targeted traffic to my videos. If you would like to check that out, you'll find a link to that in the description box below this video. And with all that, I hope this was another helpful video. If so, hit the like button below, share on your preferred social site and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another helpful video.